So we're going to start off by placing our rough sketch here and we are going to be using this as something we can trace over. Now I'm going through all my pages. So if you are using Figma for the first time, these are pages. You can um, actually save all of your artworks, artboards in one page and you can separate. As you guys can see, I have one for YouTube. I have one for my Instagram page and I have like divided into, I have divided them into pages so that I can be more organized like that. So I started off by reducing the opacity from the light right inside panel and we're going to just lock this layer so that it doesn't move or doesn't annoy us while we're drawing so to start off with you can pick up your pen tool to create the whole shape as we are seeing it right here that's one option but i do not really prefer doing that you can also do the same thing using shapes but we can we are going to be doing something really really different so what you want to do is you want to go back to home you want to click explore community and you want to search for clouds and this makes life so much more easier okay so i'm just going to pick up a cloud which is more um, closer to what we have there with the rough sketch so once you are happy with your choice what you're going to be doing you're gonna hit open in figma and this will open up a whole another file as you guys can see they have used shapes here like circles and rectangle to actually build this cloud up which is so so good like i also do it all the time but i'm gonna place it over the rough sketch like this now this is not quite matching with our rough sketch so what we are gonna do we are gonna select these circles individually and we are gonna manipulate its shape to match with the shape of the cloud like this so if you have to move it around just move it around or if you have to kind of make it bigger then make it bigger basically just look at the video look at what i'm doing i'm just either um, changing its size or i'm either re reducing its width or its height that's how you change the shape of a circle so that's what i'm doing i'm just making sure that i place all of these um, according to the rough sketch but if you don't want to pick up any other file from the community you can just pick up shapes and by using those shapes you can create the whole shape for the cloud you don't have to go and over community to find a cloud but it just makes life a little more easier that is why I love Figma so yeah that's what i'm doing here i'm just going to speed through this process so that you guys can see what i'm doing now once you're happy with your cloud just select all the shapes and once you select all of the shapes go here and select union selection now this will actually combine all of the circles together and create one little shape like this, which is our little cloud. Now, once you're done with the cloud, we are gonna draw this. So for this, I am going to be using my pen tool because this shape is actually easier than a cloud. It's easier to make. These are just a bunch of straight lines and that's it. So that's why I'm using pen tool right here. And yeah you're done just hit done and um, add fill in delete stroke from that shape because we don't need no stroke now here we have this color code I will be giving that down in the description we are adding a gradient on this cloud so the gradient is going to be the, the reason why I'm adding this gradient is because I want to keep the bottom part of the cloud to be darker and the upper part of the cloud to be lighter and I'm actually going ahead with grays. So the colors are pretty much up to you, but if you wanna follow the exact same thing that I'm doing in this video, I'll be giving you guys all the color codes and everything down in the description so that you can follow along. But that's the whole thing about it. That's the whole summary. You wanna keep the bottom part of it 
darker and the upper part of it a bit lighter like that now i am going to be doing the similar thing for the cloud behind this little cloud and the shape is pretty much the same and this is the reason why i'm using the same shape for the bigger cloud as well and for this this cloud is gonna be a little darker than the cloud above it than the cloud which is smaller in size hence the reason why i have different color codes for this one again if you don't want to use color code use your own colors just make sure that the bottom part of the cloud is darker and the upper part of the cloud is lighter and creating gradient on figma is really really easy as you guys just saw i don't want to give you guys too much detail because i don't want to confuse you guys now i'm going to place this little cloud above our main giant cloud like this and yeah we have we are halfway through the whole process now i'm just going to color this little thunder thing and i'm just gonna paste the color code right here basically you can pick up any yellow color that you like i would suggest picking up a lighter version of a yellow color and i will tell you why later but just make sure that the color is lighter even if you want to use a purple lavender kind of color just make sure you're using a lighter version of it now this step is optional i just created this base for the whole thing I created this rectangle and I'm just going to make sure the corners of these of this square not rectangle um, is basically rounded like this. Now comes the main part, now comes adding drop shadows, inner shadows to the selected shape. So I first selected the smaller cloud and I am adding all this all these little settings which comes under effects we are basically adding drop shadow and inner shadows to create i to create a 3d look now i'm going to be adding all these details down the description so that you guys can follow it along or on the screen if i can add that or you can just actually see on the screen what i'm doing and just add the same exact settings onto the cloud but make sure to check my description up now i'm doing the same thing with the um, bigger cloud as well again just follow along follow the same settings that i'm doing there is nothing much to explain i don't want to explain you guys why i am changing y axis or the blur and everything because i don't want to confuse you guys especially if this is the first time you're using figma just follow along and just do it sometimes you just have to do something to learn it okay so do not worry about it just follow along copy the same exact settings and you're going to get the similar results yes but if your color is different if the color of the cloud is different you might want to change the color of inner shadow i have used lighter grays in my inner shadows to create this highlighted effect over the cloud but if your cloud is purple in color you might want to use a lighter color of that purple to create for inner shadow to create that highlighted effect at the top of the cloud as you guys can see so i repeated the same process with that little square behind the clouds as well and because it was darker so i had to go back and forth and make sure that i'm increasing the opacity when it comes to drop shadow because it was not that visible uh, because it, the square is so dark so that's what i'm doing here just follow along again make sure to check the description while you're following me along this tutorial now what we are gonna do is we are gonna add more shadows so for that what i did i first duplicated that square layer as you guys can see i'm gonna be adding the shortcut keys and now what you want to do is you want to pick up the layer underneath the main layer like that i hope this is not confusing then you're gonna right click uh, go to plugins and select shadow maker now i'm just going to show you guys how to install a plugin go to community 
type in um, shadow or shadow maker then you will end up with all the plugins that Figma has and then you can just whichever you like I prefer shadow maker this one right here and just hit try it out and this way you'll be installing the plugin to your Figma and to use the plugin just double tap or double click and then choose plugins and then from plugins you have to choose shadow maker and that's how easy it is now we're going to create glow around this little thunder so you have to uh, select it change its layer to color dodge and now just duplicate this layer again and select the bottom layer like this lock the layer or just hide the layer above it okay we will unhide it later on now just using the layer at the bottom go to effects go to layer blur and just blur the layer blur it up to the max okay i did it to i was just trying out different strength until i was happy with what i wanted so as you guys can see here is the glow i actually increased the saturation of that glow the color and it's now really bright yellow kind of color we have you're also going to want to um, decrease the opacity of that glow as well and um, as i did right here i i think i changed it up to yeah 80 i i thought i did it i changed it up to 40 but it's 70 and 80 it depends on you what you like okay and yeah now i am going to add shadows on the clouds as well similar process duplicate the layer and choose the layer at the bottom delete every effect setting that base layer has select your shadow maker plugin and always enable in word increase the opacity and from the direction panel you can also change the direction of this of the shadows like this as you guys can see it's looking so good it looks so 3d ish that's the reason why i really really like this plugin and just apply it and i'm gonna actually follow the similar process for the bigger cloud as well and i really hope this tutorial is not confusing if it is please do let me know down in the comment section below because i want to make sure that i'm making tutorials which are easy to understand because this is the first time i'm making a tutorial on figma so it's kind of new to me as well now I created these two circles and colored them with the yellow and then what you want to do is you want to change the layer mode to color mode, add layer blur as we did with the thunder and decrease the opacity. Now select both of the circles like this, select both of the circles, select the cloud, the bigger cloud and use mask. Okay, so select both of the circles, select the uh, bigger cloud right at the bottom and then you have selected all of the shapes double tap or double click and then select the option um, use as mask and this will be masked on the bigger cloud only like that and i also reduce the opacity of that as well and yeah here you are done with your 3d illustration on figma i really hope you guys found this video helpful i know um the video was fast paced and i was doing stuff really really fast because i use figma for everything nowadays and but i still want to make sure that if you are somebody who's using figma for the first time this video is helpful for you if it is not, please do let me know because I would love to improvise my process of creating the tutorial. But do not forget to check all the details out in the description box. Do follow along this tutorial and I would love to see your results. So tag me on Instagram if you do. Other than that, I will see you guys in my next video.